Hi everyone, um, I was going to try out a project here and I thought I would take you along for the ride. So this is kind of um, I, something I've been wanting to try for a really long time. Um, I love Martha Stewart, I know, I'm a closet Martha Stewart fan. And um, in one of her projects where she makes a... Um, molded kind of replica of a tree limb and uses it for um, a coat hanger. She uses the lids open so I don't want to this Durham's Rock Hard Putty and if anybody's um, wanting to see the video I'll put the um, link in the down bar but what it is it's like basically like powdered wood and um, after they get it out, it functions a lot like wood. So um, I was going to use my tree mold with it. And then I kind of wanted to test how thin you could get this stuff. So I thought I'd test out it on this mold, which is, I mean, it's a really th skinny mold so I thought I'd take you along for the ride so I'm just testing here I have no idea how much anything so and I wish I would have brought a spoon in with me but let's do this um. I guess I'll start out with that this amount. And if anybody's interested, this is available at Lowe's. It's like two dollars and something, three dollars. Very inexpensive, and it's 16 ounces. And it's called Durham's Rock Hard Water Putty. It's made for like patching wood or plaster. So I have this, and I have some water. And my trusty wood stirrer stick. And you're supposed to mix it up until it's the consistency of like cake batter. And then I probably need a little more powder. It's a little thin. Next time I'll probably use a spoon. Okay. I'm hoping that this is good enough. I'm not sure. Okay. And by the way, there is a video online that says um, to put your molds in the oven if they're tin cured, and this is a silicone mold, if they're tin cured to bake off the alcohol. Let me just tell you, you need to do research and do a test piece because I basically ruined probably half my molds with this. And this used to be beautiful and it's turned kind of, I don't know, brown inside. And some of them got really um, mushy. 
So don't do it. Especially this is Smooth On's Umo mold material. And um yeah. Don't put it in. I have um I've changed over to their Mold Max semi translucent type. And it's a little better as far as temperature wise, but you still can't put it in the oven. This one's in the middle of being made. I didn't mix enough silicone, but it's a bunch of rings. So anyway, let me pour this. Okay. Kind of just bounced it down and it kind of leveled itself off. Okay. Okay, everyone. Um, I actually, um, they took a lot longer to dry than I expected, so I just went to bed. So I don't exactly know how long they, um, took to dry, but, um, they're dry this morning, and they have, they kind of feel like, like dried, um, or I don't know, they do feel like wood. Just like really dry wood. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Anyway, I want to show you the unmolding. It says I haven't seen them yet. Uh, I think with a little sanding, he's still kind of damp. With a little sanding, it might work. It looks like... Yeah. It's actually... I don't know if you can see that. The area that is texturized... Is, I don't normally use these molds for resin. I normally use them for polymer clay. I, I keep the silicone for resin. And these for polymer clay, but where it was texturized in the mold the um, wood putty picked it up too so I mean that's not all bad so this is my tree it's releasing from the mold really easy and except for that little couple little air bubble marks Looks like a really I mean it looks like the original. What I'm gonna do is um let them thoroughly dry. They still kinda be a little cold and damp. So I'll let them thoroughly dry and then um probably sand them down a little bit and make a pendant out of them in there. Really salt. Ooh, I shouldn't have probably done that. They are still a little wet. And then I'll show you what I do with them. So, have a great day, y'all.